you talk about how we go from crude fiber down a step to NDF and ADF, and then we go down to total digestible fiber, or TDF. Why should we go that far, right? So we can, we have the same discussion with energy. We've gone from ME to NE. So why, why do I want to go to TDF? What's, what's the value? What's it going to bring to me? You know, I think, it, I think it brings in some value in terms of clarity of the functional properties of the fiber that we're feeding. You know, and are we able to formulate getting closer to those targeted values that, that should bring benefit, right? I almost think about it, you know, we're not quite that granular yet in terms of, you know, amino acids from an analogy perspective, right? We know what amino acid ratios that we should be targeting for optimal performance. Can we get there with dietary fiber? You know, I think even even lipids, for example, I think we're getting closer when we think about omega-6 to omega-3 ratios, for example. You know, even though that's another podcast on its own right in terms of talking about the appropriate lipid balance to be feeding and lipid quality, et cetera. But getting back to the fiber aspect of it, I think it, it enables us to have a better understanding of some of the functional properties of the fiber that way, rather than just formulating off of, of a straight crude fiber or NDF.